are gonna love this DIY today because guess what? It is a cute accessory and also practical. I mean, how cool is that? We're combining practicality and beautification. Well, whatever. It is a DIY chain water bottle holder, which is so useful for the spring and summer months because I don't know about you guys, but I am constantly carrying around a canteen with me full of water to stay hydrated. And sometimes it's a hassle to carry it around in your hand. And so this solves that problem because it's basically like a little purse holder for your canteen. And I am using this flavor of the month canteen that I have just bought recently. It is a 100% copper water bottle, which just feels really good for you because it like sterilizes the water. But anyways, let's get into the supplies for this DIY. You need a canteen, the one that you use regularly because you're gonna want to size your chain around a particular water bottle. And you also need some chain, very important part of this DIY. I'm using some two-tone aluminum chain. It's very lightweight, which I like because I don't want to have this be too heavy. I like mixing metal, so I like that this is copper. We've got gun metal and black and I have two different size full jump rings and these are both open jump rings which is very important because you need to be able to open them and close them around the chain. And then we have two pair of pliers here and a wire cutter which will help cut the chain. This is going to be hydration on fleek. Let's do it. I'm using the thicker silver tone chain for my shoulder strap and the black for the net part of the purse. First step, measure your shoulder strap to fit your torso so that your water bottle hangs where you want it. I want mine to be a crossbody chain with the canteen at my hip. Now, cut your chain. Measure and cut four long pieces that can reach from the bottom center of your canteen up and around the top. Cut a little longer than you need because you can always trim later. These four long pieces will be the main skeleton of the chain net. Now cut four more pieces that come up about three quarters of the way up your canteen and you will now have eight pieces of chain total. Place a large thick jump ring down on your table and arrange the four long pieces of chain extending out from the center. This will be the jump ring at the bottom of your net holding it all together. Next place two of your smaller pieces of chain inside two of the long pieces and mirror it on the other side with the remaining two shorter pieces pieces of chain. Now connect all of your chains onto the large jump ring, keeping the order you've laid out. Place your canteen over the center jump ring to help you measure for the next steps. Connect one long and one short piece about one inch up from the bottom of your canteen using a smaller strong jump ring. Make note of how many chain lengths between the center jump ring so you can repeat symmetrically in the next step. I did eight lengths between jump rings. Repeat by connecting the next long and short pieces in the same way. Now is where you start creating the diamond pattern using two of the long pieces of chain that are next to each other. This ends up looking like a net when you're done. The amount of lengths in between your first jump ring will now be double to create a large diamond. For me, I put eight lengths of chain between the bottom jump ring and 16 lengths of chain to create the larger diamonds. Now it's time to connect the shorter pieces of chain into the diamond pattern you started with the two long pieces of chain. You will be connecting the shorter pieces of chain to the center of the diamond with jump rings, which will mean I will have a jump ring every eight lengths of chain because they fall in between the 16 link segments. Trim off any excess chain. Continue this pattern until all of your chains are connected. It helps to turn your canteen over and work around the shape because once you connect more chains, it will no longer lay flat. Now connect your four long pieces of chain, two on either side, together and to each end of the shoulder strap using more of your strong large jump rings. You've created a purse now, it's time to trim your excess chain and you're done. metals work together, the copper, the bottle, and the black, and the gun metal, and the gold, and it just works so well, and I will definitely be using that, mark my words, this summer, because it's just so handy, and you can see me 
prove to you that I'm using it on Instagram and Snapchat because I am Snapchat obsessed. I don't know if you know that about me. I'll put all the links down below to all my social media and I'll see you there. Oh, subscribe too because we have way more fun DIYs coming at you. If you do this project, please let me know. Let me know in the comments and also post pictures using hashtag Mr. Kate because no DIY chain water bottle holder is the same. A thumbs up too. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mr. Kate. Mark your measurements with the marker on your brass tube. I'm making a symmetrical 3D diamond shape.